thanks for joining me today. This is Danny and welcome back to my modded 1.10.2 series. And today we're gonna to be playing around with Batania. We haven't we haven't really played with Batania for a while um, because we kind of finished off with our Gaia Guardian fights the other day and um, kind of reached the end game with Batania, but we never really made some of the cool stuff Oh crap, something's going on with my tree farm. Some of the cool stuff that Batania has to offer. So that is what we're going to do today. Um, I have bookmarked a few pages in my Lexica Batania and it was really tough <laughs> to, to kind of narrow things down because Batania has just so much stuff. I mean, there's item management stuff, there's all kinds of different tools and weapons. And of course, you know, we have the Terra Steel Armor, which is really awesome. It has really good protection and it gives us complete knockback resistance. We also have all these things in the helmet that we got from the Gaia Guardians that um, deal a bunch of extra stuff when we do critical hits. Um, what else do we have from Batania? We've got the Ring of Far Reach, which helps us reach further. We have the Ring of Odin, which was a um, another thing we got from the Gaia Guardians. Of course, we got all the all the relics from the Gaia Garden. We also have this Globetrotter Sash, which makes us go really fast. Um, but there's so much stuff that we haven't even looked at yet, that we haven't even touched. And that's kind of what we're going to do today. We're just going to kind of look at a few select things that I kind of picked out um, for us to focus on today. Um, in the meantime, we do have bees going on over here. Um, if you were joining me in the last few episodes with with forestry, I've got I still we still have our <laughs> pollen and royal jelly being produced very 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 slowly, and I'm just kind of letting those run. The first things that I want to do is play around with the lunium. So you may remember a few episodes back, um, we were playing around with our tinker's construct stuff, and we have the tinker's add-ons mod, which has this bonus tool modifier. Um, which has these three bonus tool modifiers, but the tier two requires a golden apple. Now this is a notch apple, which has no recipe. The only way you can get it is from dungeon loot. Um, and that is exactly what the lunium is going to give us. So the lunium, anywhere, the lunium at the use of an extreme amount of mana materializes these items and drops them in the nearby vicinity. All right, this guy is kind of expensive. We actually need three of the um, seven deadly sins T uh, ruins and we already had sloth and envy that we got from the Gaia Guardian and now we need let's see it's number 34 we need envy gluttony and sloth so gluttony is fire and winter fire is this we already had fire um whoops ah I hate that but uh winter is water, earth, snow, wool, and cake. So that's the first thing we have to do. A wool, a couple snow, a water, an earth, and a cake. And then of course we're going to need some living stone. Living rock. And we're going to need our wand of the forest. Hey, there we go. So now we can throw winter back. Oh, no, actually, we want winter. That's what we just made. <laughs> we can throw our earth and water back. We don't need those anymore. So now it's winter, fire, two mana. And another living rock. Okay, so now we have gluttony. We can get rid of fire. And we can get rid of winter. It doesn't consume those. And I think we have everything we need except for the gray petals. Um, so in our petal apothecary, we put all three of these. A redstone root that's just a piece of redstone with grass. And a, was it a mana pearl? Happens to be number 34. Nope. The redstone root, oh, pixie dust. Yeah, so we have to take our mana pearl and stick it in here and that gives us pixie dust and 
And then we need four green petals. One, two, three, four, and one gray. And I'll just do that. There we go. Now we just need a seed. Oh boy, we're actually running a little low on seeds. I wonder if we can just use rice seeds. Yes, we can. Hooray. So there is our lunium. We've got it. Nice. So let's just put it right there. Okay, so it's full of mana. I wonder how much it took. Okay, so it took a fairly decent amount of mana. I don't know exactly how much because we already used some to make our ruins. I probably should have checked. Oh, it's currently taking a lot of mana too. And actually, you know what? We're done with this. I put a piston over here on our um, on our portal to Alfheim so that if we're not going to use it for a long time, we can just flip this piston and it'll pull the, this block and break the portal. But you know what? I'm actually going to leave. Oh, we already got something. What do we got? <laughs> we got horse armor. Hooray. Okay, so we're going to get a bunch of garbage um, from... Oh, wow. We got a bunch of stuff here. What's this? Enchanted book Zoomerang 3. What the heck is that? <laughs> I've never heard of that. And we got a moving wand. So, yeah, we're going to get all kinds of junk here. Uh, in fact, um, why don't we... Let's, let's take it down right now. Um, until we get a way to collect all this stuff. So we're getting... Oh boy, we're getting all kinds of wands. Zoomerang. Ancient tome. Ooh, look at that. Well, we don't really need that because we have complete fog protection, but we got an ancient tome. This is Quark. It, ba it basically gives us... Um, it allows us to increase the enchants one more than vanilla would allow. So I'm going to set our Lumium aside for a second, and we are going to make the Hopper. Was that it? The hopper Hawk. We'll pick up items around us, giving it mana is optional, but it'll increase its range. So if we set a hopper hop next to our lumium, it will pick stuff up and place it in a nearby inventory. Now, I don't think it's going to work with this inventory, but we'll try it. Um, if it doesn't, I'll just stick another chest. Because I don't think... I don't. Most blocks don't recognize this as an inventory, because um, I guess it's technically not. It's more. It's an interface to an inventory that exists somewhere else. So I don't think that's going to work, but we'll try it anyway. So to make this guy, we need a couple of light gray, a couple of gray gray, a redstone root, and a rune of air. And I'm pretty sure we have all of those things. Yeah, we have a rune of air. Hooray! So there is our hopper hawk. So let's just check this out. If we put this right there, and we throw... Hmm. Okay, so that's not going to work. So we need some kind of a chest. Uh, let's just do a vanilla chest for now, and then eventually we'll do a modular... St I'm thinking a modular storage chest should work, but if we do that... So we did have a little bit of a problem in that the hopper hawk is picking up our uh, stuff over there. So let's just see what the range is on this thing. I've got my monocle, or my man Manistir monocle. So now when we look at this, we can see we can see the range. Why is that picking that up? That is totally should not be within range. Oh, whoa. that is a pretty large range, and it's because it's getting mana. Crazy. Okay. Well, it's not picking it up now. Why is it trapping two? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. So that seems to be okay. I just needed to move it. Move it over a couple blocks. So let's just put this guy here, and anything that we drop here should get picked up, or anything we drop anywhere around here. Should get picked up and put in that chest. Hooray! All right, now let's put our lunium back down. Let's put it 
there. Hmm. Does that mean it might throw stuff back there? Okay, so it's throwing stuff around. <laughs> I guess it's okay if it throws stuff back there because this thing can reach way over the man, that's crazy. That's a crazy range. Wow, it's a, yeah. Okay. Alright, this is working. Nice. Um red rune. The, these are to change the color of your enchants. <laughs> With quark, when you enchant things, it no longer has that weird purpley color. It's just like a white color. And you can change the color with this. So this chest is obviously going to fill up very, very, very quickly. So we'll have to figure out a nut. Why is it throwing stuff way over there? Holy crap. That's bizarre. Ooh. <laughs> Sharpness 5. Oh, I want that. Totally. I want that in my sword right that in this sword right here. So yay, so we haven't got what we what we set out to get yet. But we did get some pretty cool stuff already. Okay, I've got a modular storage here and we're already a ten over a tenth full of three hundred stacks. So I made a trash can. This thing it's fast. It yeah, it does a lot. So I made a trash can from extra utilities. Um, actually, I'm going to need a filter as well. Let's put that right there. Uh, I just picked something up. And I'm going to start trashing things that don't stack because this is... The modular storage does go by stacks and it holds 300 stacks. So each one of these things is taking up a whole stack. Oh man, look at that. Fortune 3. <laughs> nice. We can put a filter in here, or we can filter a pipe. Whoops, what did I just pick up? A <laughs> name tag. Filter fluids, item filter. Okay, actually that is pretty cheap. Let's just make that. So we just right click this thing in the air, and then we say we want to get rid of that. We want to get rid of that, that, and that. Um, and I'm going to throw these in here so that we have some, if we ever want them for whatever reason. And I'm going to put this filter in here okay let's let's pull these wands out too <clears throat> especially the potion one we'll keep we'll save one or two of them and two two is enough and then the rest we'll just throw out Whoa. an acceleration wand Wow, <laughs> I think actually, whoops, I think both of these, is that an advanced wand? These are both advanced wand cores. These are really expensive. We would normally have to use another star and two gas tiers and wow, to make those crazy. I don't, I don't know if I actually even want to filter those out. Although <laughs> we're probably gonna end up with so many. I mean, by the time we get a golden apple, we're gonna have so much of all this stuff. But let's just, let's, this is exciting. Ooh, a dimlet parcel. Nice. All right, so we put this in here. We don't put it in there because <laughs> that'll throw it away. See, whatever we put in there just gets voided and it's gone. Gone forever. Um, and then we're just going to put an item conduit. Just need one item conduit going from there to there. This is going to be an insert. And it's going to be an extract. Always active. And we should see all that stuff has disappeared. Hooray! I don't know about these runes. I'll have to think about those. But these, they should stack. Oh, they're not stacking. Okay, we may have to throw out those runes too, because they, for whatever reason, they don't stack. They should stack. That's silly. <laughs> hey, why are these potion ones still in here? And anytime you take that filter out, make sure you disable the conduit 
Um, otherwise, everything's gonna get dumped in the garbage can. Uh, let's ignore NVT. I'm not gonna ignore it or dictionary ignore it. and ignore metadata. Okay, that should have gotten rid of the. Oh wait, 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 wait. Always active. Okay. Hooray, that worked. <laughs> we just picked up some horse armor, and that should go away. Yep. Oh, we got it. Yay. <laughs> this is what we wanted right here. We're Yeah, we got our golden apple. Except, actually, I wouldn't mind having a couple of them. So check this out. Sharpness 5, sharpness 5 gives us sharpness 6. <laughs> Hooray. Ooh, wow. Okay. It's expensive, though. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting low on XP. <laughs> and our sword is low, but we're gonna fix that soon. So sharpness six. Gives us an attack, sta attack damage of... <laughs> Whoa, and it breaks our anvil. Gives us attack damage of 12.5. Nice. Okay, so... So that's the Lumium. The Lumium and the... Other one. <laughs> what was it called again? The Hopperhawk. Uh... I think I'm gonna stop it for a while. Oh, we got another one. Or no, that's the one. I put it back in there. Never mind. So we did get one notch apple. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna shut this off. Well, I'm gonna pick it up now just because it is burning through our mana pretty quickly. So what I want to do next, since we've got <laughs> something that needs to be repaired, um, another little thing that I have is the timeless ivy. Um, while Mana Stealer Elementium tools have the ability to harness mana to use it to protect their bodies, <laughs> other tools or armor don't have this property. So for instance, we have our Terra Steel armor and all the other tools and such that we get from um, Batania, they basically just use mana to repair themselves. So we never, we never have to repair them. Wouldn't it be great <laughs> if we could do that with all of our other tools? Use mana to repair them. Like for instance, this sentient sword. Or maybe even our living armor. That would be pretty cool. Well, we just might be able to do that. A handful of timeless ivy can be attached onto virtually any item, allowing it to be repaired with mana. Um, to apply it, we simply craft it with it. Um, due to being in direct contact, it does use more mana than um, the native Botania stuff. So we just need vines, a Gaia spirit, and an elementium ingot. And of course, we've got tons of Gaia Spirits that we got from fighting all of those Gaia Guardians. Time. Oh crap, I just picked up some horse armor. <laughs> oh, I picked up a name tag. That's fine. Timeless Ivy. So we should actually have... Oh, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing Elementium. Okay, so we're going to need to make some Elementium. But we've got tons of Mana Steel. So why don't we just make... Let's just make eight elementium right away because we're probably going to be using this for some other things as well. So 16 mana steel gets us eight elementium. <laughs> and we just need one for this and then we have our timeless IV. Well, that wasn't working, so I just went ahead and put the mending enchant on this guy using the Ender.io enchanter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the problem is that you have to craft the Timeless Ivy, um, with whatever the item is that you want to give repair to, and three of the items that you, that you would use to repair the item, um, like in an anvil. Um, however, there, you can't repair the Sentient Sword in an anvil. You have to use another Sentient Sword. So... And I actually tried in creative mode to see if, in a different world, to see if three sentient swords crafted with the sentient sword and the, and the ivy would work, and they don't. But I think it should work with our living armor. Ooh, there we go. Look at this. This is my chest plate that I can no longer repair because it's too expensive now. Because it's been repaired too many times and everything else. Timeless Ivy, three binding reagents, because this is what we would use to repair this guy in an anvil. 
And if we hover over it, you can see it says, has timeless ivy. Oh. So it's taking mana right now and it's repairing itself. Whoa, that is freaking awesome. <laughs> that, oh my God. So anything that you can repair in an anvil with some material, you should be able to use this timeless ivy for. So basically it will always, wow, it will always be repaired. And it'll take mana. Um, every time it takes damage, it's just gonna take mana to repair itself. That is really awesome. Hey, we got two golden apples and lots of enchanted books. Nice ones too. I, I gotta find out what Zoomerang is because I don't know what that is. I think I got two withering books. One was up here. Yeah. Some XP boost. We got sharpness four. A bunch of mendings. I got two mendings. I just made a mending before, but yeah. Couple flame, punch two. What do I have in here? I've got punch one in there. I may as well take that. But I got rid of it. Um, I took the flowers down. I actually just threw them in here for now. Uh, hey, where'd they go? There we are. <laughs> Lunium. Um, because we are really running out of mana here. Look at that. I mean, even our dominant pool is not totally full now. But I think it was totally worth it. So, on... On to the next thing. Um, I actually tested this on Tinker stuff. I didn't think it was going to work, but I thought I'd give it a try anyway. And nope, <laughs> it doesn't work. It has to be something that you can repair in an anvil with some materials. And you can't repair Tinker stuff in an anvil. You have to repair them in the Tinker's thing. So what else do I have bookmarked here? What is next? Dun, 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 dun. Tiger's Eye. <laughs> okay, so the Tiger's Eye is going to make creepers run away. Um, I'm actually not going to make that right now, just because because that's not very exciting. <laughs> because, we're, because we've already spent a lot of time on this other stuff. and but, but basically, the idea is that it works like having a cat sitting there. So you set down the tiger's eye, it uses a little bit of mana, and it scares creepers away, and it also causes creepers to run away from you, from the player. So that is pretty nice. I'm actually probably going to make one of these in the near future. Um, the Terra Terra Bozu, actually, this, <laughs> this I might think about making today. Um, mana infused string. So we just need eight mana infused string and a sunflower. That's easy enough. So we grab eight string. Um, get rid of that. Get eight man infused string. Oh, and we need a sunflower, so we're going to need some bone meal. And I'm going to head over. Actually, I might have a sunflower in here. Nope, because then it would show up in there. I'll head over into our little. Botanical garden. Look at all the freaking flowers from the bees. That's crazy. Um, sunflowers. Here we go. Just hit that with bone meal and we get a sunflower. That is a vanilla thing. So Terra Terra Bozu. Just set that right there. So what this guy does is it causes rain to happen less often. <laughs> All you do is you set it down in the world. Um, let me grab my this. Okay, so there's no configuration or anything there, but um, you want to reward away bad weather. Simply create one of these and place it in the world. Will decrease the amount of time that rain or snowstorms will last during bad weather. Right-clicking one with a sunflower or tossing said flower at it will have the sun come back. So attaching a redstone comparator to one of these allows for it to detect bad weather. So what we could do is we could attach a redstone comparator to this and have it send a redstone signal to a hopper <laughs> full of sunflowers and then have it just drop a sunflower every time it rains. Um, and then it, we basically would pretty much never have rain. But right now, just having it here is going to reduce the rain. <laughs> and it's cute. Slime in a bottle. 
If I could save slime in a bottle, it would tell me where slime chunks are. And that's basically how you make it. I'm not going to make this either, but it's elementium um, and elf glass, both of which you make in the um, portal to Alfheim. But basically what it'll do is it'll jump around when you reach a slime chunk. So then you can go underground and find your slimes. That would have been pretty useful for me recently because I was trying to get these slime pearls. Um, so that I could make something from Real Aquary, which you'll see in another episode. Charm of the Diva. Blesses the wearer with the ability to have any attacked mob follow. Ooh, I want to play with this. This should be interesting. Rune of Pride, and then we need a tiny planet. Okay, so we're going to make a tiny planet. And there we have it. Charm of the Diva. Oh, we're going to have to replace... Oh, we just have our monocle right now, so that's no big deal. Charm of the Diva. So we should be able to... Let's see. You shall not disrespect Big Sister. Blesses the wearer with the ability to have any attacked mob follow the attacker's will. Case... And in case there are nearby enemies, go after them instead. The process, of course, requires a bit of mana from the wearer's inventory in order to function. Okay, we've got plenty of that, especially now that we stopped <laughs> our Lumium. So if we just hit a mob, in fact, if we just hit him with our bare hands. <laughs> hey, why are you still coming after me? Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Oh, that is awesome! I wonder though, will we get XP from them? Actually, I want this guy on my side, or here, how about you? And you too. Let's just get an army here. Hey! Hmm. So it's not really working, always. Doesn't really seem to be working. There we go. So it seems a little inconsistent. <laughs> nice. Hey, what are you doing over here? <laughs> oh, he's waiting for somebody to attack me. Okay, so he attacks me. <laughs> oh, I like that. And last but not least today, the Ring of Chordata. Um, this does require a puffer fish, but with Batania, if you have the alchemy catalyst, you can pretty much get a puffer fish from any other fish. So if you have a clownfish, you can get a puffer fish. If you have a raw salmon, you get a clownfish, which from then you can get a puffer fish, and so on and so forth. In fact, that's what I had. I had a raw fish. Um, and I made a puffer fish out of it. So the Ring of Chordata. Oh boy, now we have to decide. Oh. Oh no, I don't want to get rid of any of these. Well, whatever. This is something that we don't need all the time, so let's just. The Ring of Chordata lets us go underwater. And we can see. We can move quickly, as you can see. We can move very fast under the water. Wait. In fact, if we're flying, do we go fast? No, we don't go faster when we're flying. But... And we have night vision while we're underwater. And when our bubbles run out, they come back <laughs> at the cost of some mana. So this is a very great, a very nice um, item if you have to do anything underwater. Like if you want to go to a um, ocean guardian or whatever, you're like, you're totally the set. Next episode, we're probably going to get back into Gendistry. Um, forestry really because we should be able to build our aviary in the next episode because all that stuff is in progress um, or we might be playing around with 
um, reliqu reliquary with uh, Slender TT, with my son. I do hope you join me for that. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this. And join me next time. Thanks for watching.